Iran stands at a crossroads facing one of the most critical decisions in its modern history. Its response to Israel's intensified attacks on Hezbollah is a delicate balancing act, fraught with potential consequences. On one side the call for revenge echoes loudly among its people and hardliners. On the other the pressing need for survival and stability looms large. Economically, Iran is struggling under immense pressure. Sanctions, mismanagement and corruption have taken their toll. Inflation is soaring and the currency has depreciated significantly. Citizens are struggling to make ends meet and the cost of living has skyrocketed. A prolonged conflict seems unviable for the nation. The human cost of war is already evident, with many fearing further escalation. The newly elected President Pazeshkian, a reformist, is advocating for restraint and diplomacy. He aims to mend ties with the West, seeking to revive the nuclear deal and ease the economic sanctions that have crippled the country. Reviving the nuclear deal could potentially bring some much-needed economic relief and stability to Iran. This move could lead to a more prosperous future, with hopes of economic recovery and growth. Despite this, hardliners within the government push for a forceful response, arguing that inaction will only embolden Israel. They believe that a strong military response is necessary to deter further aggression from Israel. The fear is that without a decisive action, Israel might feel encouraged to launch attacks on Iranian soil. This internal struggle highlights the complexity of Iran's decision-making process, with various factions pulling in different directions. Iran's response this time is different from previous instances. During the assassination of a Hamas leader, Iran vowed a blood-for-blood -blood response, showcasing its willingness to retaliate. Now the leadership emphasizes Hezbollah's autonomy in choosing its response, signaling a desire to avoid direct confrontation. This approach indicates a strategic shift, aiming to manage the conflict through proxies, rather than direct involvement. Hezbollah, meanwhile, continues its rocket attacks on Israel, vowing a protracted fight and readiness for a potential ground invasion. The group's determination to resist Israeli advances remains unwavering, adding to the region's volatility. This ongoing conflict has displaced thousands on both sides and caused significant casualties, deepening the humanitarian crisis. Israel, emboldened by its recent successes against Hezbollah, shows no signs of relenting in its military campaign. Its goal remains to push Hezbollah away from its northern border, ensuring the safety and security of its citizens. The Israeli government is determined to maintain a strong defensive posture, ready to counter any threats. Ensuring the safety of its citizens is paramount, and the government is taking all necessary measures to protect them. Interestingly, despite the conflict, oil markets have remained relatively stable, reflecting a cautious optimism. This suggests a likely restrained response from Iran, prioritizing survival over immediate retaliation. The future remains uncertain, with Iran carefully weighing its options in a highly volatile environment. Iran is committed to supporting its regional allies, yet is cautious about direct confrontation that could escalate the conflict. The leadership is aware that any misstep could have far-reaching consequences, both domestically and internationally. The region is fraught with tension and potential volatility, with every decision being scrutinized by global powers. Iran's decision will shape not just its destiny but also the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. Will it choose revenge or survival? Only time will tell as the world watches closely. Stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding story as the situation continues to evolve.